The stuff we haven't figured out yet, it goes on forever. One more blow to our centrality in the grand scheme of things. But that doesn't mean we don't know anything. Copernicus, Newton, Einstein, even Alfred, Wilson, and Guth. They've given us pieces of an endless puzzle. They've helped tell us how we fit in the picture. Recognize that the very molecules that make up your body, the atoms that construct the molecules, are traceable to the crucibles that were once the centers of high mass stars, that exploded their chemically enriched guts into the galaxy, enriching pristine gas clouds with the chemistry of life, so that we're all connected to each other biologically, to the Earth chemically, and to the rest of the universe atomically. That's kind of cool. That makes me smile. And I actually feel quite large at the end of that. It's not that we are better than the universe, we're part of the universe. We're in the universe and the universe is in us. We're not the center of the universe, but we are in it and of it, trying to figure it all out. There's so much we know, and yet so much we still don't know. We hold on tight as our little planet goes hurtling through space, around the sun, around the galaxy, around the universe. Don't forget to look up. There's so much to see, so much to know. Where do we begin? <laughs>